Good morning. You weren't able to eat dinner last night, so I thought I'd just bring you breakfast here. Hmm? Alright, look. I'm a noble. Well, in my world, that is. I'm royalty, just like you. My attitude towards you last night was rude, to say the least. And I apologise for that. Of course I know how to apologise. I may be a tribrigged, but I still have some manners. Anyway, eat up. I have some explaining to do. I know you have questions. Ask away. Like I said, I brought you here because you have something I need. And it's really important. I need to get it back from you. Listen, I didn't know you were a hunter, but my better has been sniffing your scent from me since we started hanging out in school. He's had his suspicions, but I shrugged it off. You're actually a nice person and I always enjoy your company. The second we started to hike, going to the campsite, to our cabin, you were already being closely watched. I never intended to suck your blood or anything. It was it was just a reflex, I guess. Oh right. Hold on. Does it still hurt? To be close by now. Um why are you looking at me like that? What do you mean there's still something I'm not telling you? What? I'm being too nice. <sighs> Look, you're too precious for me to take your life and far too important for me to leave you behind. Ugh, I talk too much. All right, fine. Might as well tell you the truth. <sighs> you and I have met years ago. You were in 11th grade. You asked my friend if I had someone to go do the prom with. My friend obviously said no, that you should ask me out, and you did. But a couple of weeks before prom, you got into a car accident during spring break, and I was there. Hey, stop! Stop it! I did not. Do that. I wasn't involved, okay. Just happened to be hunting. <sighs> I was really just hunting for fresh blood. I usually opt for animal blood. And believe it or not, I was the one who brought you to the hospital and reported the incident. You can head down to the sheriff to confirm what I just said. There's something more to what happened that night, so just shut up. When I saw you were out cold on the concrete, there was something inside me that demanded me to save you. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. From then I knew I just had to let you live another life. So I gave you half of my soul. <laughs> How? I did a ritual, obviously. I know your senior hunters taught you about the soul ritual that don't act dumb. Mind you, only pure bloods and nobles can perform that. <sighs> Look, I need it back. Because I need it, alright? <laughs> because if I don't get it back, you will die. There, I said it. Are you happy now? Huh. Why do I care so much? Well, I just 
don't want you to die is all. Not unless you actually want to be like me. And besides, my soul is now tainted with a mortal soul. It's likely for me to become more human-like, and I don't want that. I don't want to be weak and a fool. Whatever, just eat. It's uncontaminated. Alright, I'm going. You don't remember me. How can you even tell them that they were bound to be like me and that I didn't want that to happen? What do I do now? Am I too late to save them?